got a headset now. Yeah. What an awesome idea. All right. Hey, hey Yelder, why do you look like Daffy Duck? I don't know. Who's this Daffy Duck you're talking about? <laughs> All right. So where did we end off? Oh, you were asking what we wanted to do next. And I, I know exactly what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go cry in the river, look at the sun, get a stick, and beat the darkness. That's that's pretty much what I've got. <laughs> I think you missed one. But there was something about somebody named Abby on the mountainside. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> you guys... Went to, to take a nap in the, well, early morning, because you had fought a bunch of spirits. And now you wake up, and what do you guys want to do? <clears throat> Chris, on a, on a serious note, is there actually a mountain range that we can see? Uh, nope, not from where you are. Right now, all you can see is basically the forested path that you're walking through. Um, and that's pretty much it. A lot of fog. When we I were, think... sorry, when we were at the, the river, yeah. um, would have I noticed the mountain ranges from there or no? Give me an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> What'd I get? What'd you get? Oh, 15! I got 15! 15. Yeah! <laughs> you were too... Holy Jesus. You were, um, as you were walking down the river and decided to go in it and freeze your yeah. nards off, yeah. uh, you, had, you had barely even noticed the, uh, the two giant bridges let alone any type of mountain range. Gotcha. Freezing my nuts off. There we are. Okay. Remember it fondly. This would have been a good time to tell him he doesn't have nuts. Um, we should just continue on our merry way. We were headed somewhere. Let's go there. The right way, whatever way that is. Not the way the gypsies went. Are you yes. fo all following the dwarf? Away yeah. from the epic battle. Yes. Yeah, we don't <laughs> want to go back there. You don't want to go back towards the gypsies? Oh, no. When you ask me more than once, I feel like you're extending me, you know, a, a lifeline of some kind. God like I'm trying yeah. to uh, encourage you to use reckless? Uh, follow Bye. the gypsies. I think we need to go find the the dead village. Was it a was it a drowned village? It was drowned by the river. Everybody in the village drowned. Yeah, I think we. But it was ruled by evil. But I think we should go check it out. I mean, we we got that note that told us to go find the evil god. <sighs> okay, didn't the gypsies come from? No. Go to where we came from. Yep. Yes. Yep. Back at, towards the river. Not necessarily. You oh. got to remember that the road had forked. That's true. There was a fork. I think we should go towards the river again. Well, I mean, which river? If, if we're going to find a village that was drowned by a river, we <laughs> should find a river. We found the river. Let's go find the river. Yelder almost froze his nut off. Remember? I heard him say it. God damn it. And do you recall we couldn't walk along the river? That's why he tried to get into the water? We were going to try to cross the river. That's why we wanted but we to couldn't... the water. We couldn't walk along the riverbank. It wasn't... Yes. Easily passable. So but this, path, this path followed the river. But flip. did we pick the right direction on the river to go? Oh, man. 
what did those cards say again? They said something <laughs> about wow, everyone, everyone drowning in the village. And they said something about wow, some guy with nine, nine a, dark, a dark room full of ghosts. I even dark gave you guys down. the uh, the YouTube f- video of a, it. A dark room full of bottles. Yes, and the mountainside abbey. And the mountainside, then the, the mountainside the dark, abbey had the hollow had a, bones. There was an, there was a woman in the abbey, and she was going to kill Gerblin. She was going to help us. She was greater than the sum of her parts. So, she, so we she have was our option. ally. We have an option. I think we need her because she's going <coughs> to help us fight the darkness. And the darkness is in the dungeon in the castle, probably, probably near. the the there was a room with no <laughs> bottles. What was the one with the bottles? Wasn't there something? The room with the bottles was the sword of light. Yeah, we need the sword, and it was a guild member. And, and the guild member, and it's yes. a tomb. So we either go for the women at the abbey, or we go for the guild member. I think, I think that we should. Not that we know what I don't want. <coughs> Maybe we should ask the hunter that showed up out of nowhere to figure things out. Good idea. Yeah, I don't trust that Reading. <laughs> Pretty. Can you figure out where we should go? Oh, not that guy. I mean, not that guy. I thought you meant the other one. No, I mean pretty. 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 Well, do you guys want to head towards the, a mountain, or do you want to head downstream more? I, I think find need, the abbey. Yeah, we need to go to the mountain. Because rivers always flow from a mountain to the ocean, so if you follow against the current, it will lead you up. This river doesn't well, She is move. very smart. <laughs> Oh my. It is like in real life where some people are smarter than others. And I just look at the dwarf. (laughs) Just like in real life. (laughs) Uh. Yeah, so if we follow the river upstream. Let's do that. Let's go to the river. Let's show the river. Yeah. So I got to ask a question. When when you are in the river, Elder, it was very cold. Uh, which which way was the water going? I don't know. It was it was so cold that uh, that I forgot who you were. Did you remember yet? Sure. Okay. So. Ah, oh, God. We should go back to the river. Yeah, yeah, let's go back to the river. Didn't didn't we follow a path that we think follows along the river? Like, won't we yeah. find the river if we keep going? Hey, Elder, don't forget to pick up Gerblin. He's already on my head. What's going on with Gerblin? Uh, Gerblin's going to the river. Gerblin's going to the river. Gerblin might not make it tonight. But right now, Gerblin wants to go to the river. Trust oh, yeah. Me. Is comfortable on Yelder's head. All right, let's go to the river. <laughs> Which way is the river? The back way the we way came we from. Okay, All we're right, going to okay. follow the gypsies. Yeah, we're going backtracking. All right, so you guys are heading south. Yep. Yep. All right. So Let's not go near where I saw the hanging person. You'd have to. Oh, yeah, fine. we have to go back there. Yeah, okay. I'm going to sit next to Yelder behind him. He can protect me. You're going to sit behind him? Walk behind him. <laughs> I was going to say, you're not going to move much uh, if you sit behind him. I'm going to walk behind him because he's big and he can protect me. All right. So you guys uh, grab the few belongings that you had. Um, and start trekking southwards. You're following back the same path that you took. 
uh, after a few hours of walking, uh, now it's close to probably mid-afternoon, um, you reach the gallows where, Tiani, you swear you had seen something. Uh, do you keep going, or do you stop? we notice uh, the gypsies at all, or did the tracks fade, Chris? No, you you actually still see the, the tracks in the mud. Okay. Which way did they head? Same way you're heading right now, south. Okay. I think we should continue. Well, we could break for lunch here by the gallows. Oh, the gallows, where I saw a dead person. Yeah, we're not, we're not breaking. Hmm. I mean, there's no dead person here now. <laughs> Is there anything besides the gallows, Chris? Uh, there's a small cemetery behind it. Like Sounds like, like backrest for a chair. For hmm? Sounds like a perfect place to have lunch. Hey, can we not tombstone like, the gallows. Hey, like a back? I have a question. Uh, can I tell from here if any of the, the graves look new so you're going to the the cemetery not quite you're, you're, kinda, you guys far, know it's there it, it's probably about 50 to 75 feet away from the gallows oh yeah all over that in a second i i want to check out the stonework of a dwarf oh lord Give me yeah a so chris above above you know what Above 60, I'm going to go see the, uh, yep, I'm off to go see the, the gravestones. <laughs> All right, so you walk towards the, uh, the graves, um, and you wanted to see if any of them had been recently Dis disturbed? Disturbed or, you know, like fresh or... Give, give me a nature check. Oh, four. Uh, they don't seem like they had been moved. Uh, there's actually still wet leaves over uh, most of the area. Uh, the stones, well, few stones there are. Most of them are actually just wooden spikes. Um, seem very old. Okay, I want to check out the stones. See if there's anything carved to them. See if there's anything that means anything to me. Uh, you see only one uh, tombstone. As I said, the rest were actually wooden. Um, and give me a uh, give me an uh, investigation with advantage because of your stone lore. With advantage. Okay. Oh, we're all gonna die. Hold on. I think the cat's freaking with out. It, with advantage. Yeah, pretty much it's freaking out at this point. Near the gallows. With advantage is like plus one? No, it's you roll two oh. deep twenties and you pick the highest. It should actually when you click on your it should notify when you, you click on your investigation, it should ask you in your drop down you say with advantage. Oh okay, so I went to the dice. I should have okay. Investigation. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know which one you should go with. I mean, yeah, it's pretty hard, Dave. Which one do you think? I have to go find where it went. It's in the chat. You got sixteen. Sixteen oh and God, sixteen on both dice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I found it. You're right. Yeah, I'll go with sixteen. All right. Um, as you're you're pretty much pawing the stone with your big chubby dwarf hands. You notice that the engravings on it are pretty much uh, eroded away. Um, which is odd, because since you've been here, there's been almost no wind. Nothing that could actually cause erosion of this type. So from your estimate, this stone is extremely old. Just ballpark. A few hundred okay. years. All right. Well, I mean, that's my curiosity satisfied. There's nothing to see here. Can we Are go we now? Gonna... 
why the cat wanted to stop. Tiani, Can give me no, a no. uh, Tiani, give me a yeah. perception check. Oh no. <laughs> As you're kind of freaking out because you don't like this area, you notice a crow swooping at your head. Okay, I'm going to duck. Yeah, you duck just in time. Okay, can we seriously go now, guys? Let's go. Okay. Now Where do you want to go? Let's just go. Let's go to the epic battle. Right. Wait, what? Let's go, let's go, let's go. No way, no let's way. go. So I lead the way, almost picking up the pace, Chris. <laughs> he, he, I'm excited that someone wants me to show them where it was. All right, so you <laughs> continue on battle. your way. Yep, you continue on your way towards the epic battle. Um, about an hour into your journey, you notice that the road splits. Can go. It can continue southwards, or it can turn eastwards. Do we? Do I remember which way we came from? Uh, yeah, you do. You you guys came from the south. Does it, what what does the east look like, Chris? Um, it looks almost identical. Uh, those giant curved trees. Uh, kind of making an archway above the used path. Um, you do notice that the cart tracks are heading eastwards and not south. I think the gypsies went this way. And I point south. <laughs> The other uh, way, Elder. Right. And I point in both directions now. <laughs> With your arms oh, crossed, right? That way. Exactly. Like this. <laughs> Yay! Are we, do you, are we following the gypsies? Elder, let's go show Pretty the epic battle. Maybe she can learn something from it. And I start following the gypsies. Um, while you, you turn towards the east, um, Gerblin starts banging on your head with his staff. Or with his Thanks. knuckles. Because he doesn't have a staff. Thanks. Thanks, God, for Gerblin. I say we go south. Listen to Gerblin. Ye Yelder, Yelder, Yelder! Knock, 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 knock. Yelder! Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Which way? Um, we, we came from the other direction... But, do we really want to go back down there? Uh, no. We do not. The river, there the, was, drowned, there the drowned was, village and the river. But, there but, was nothing but, to Mort, see there. Mort, 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 Mort. Maybe, 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 maybe drowned is just like some, like, mm, a figure of speech or something. Maybe it has nothing to do with a river. Maybe there's well, so maybe there's a maybe there's away. maybe there's a lake. Maybe it doesn't even mean anything about water. Drowning. I bet you I, I know what it is. What is it, drinking, Yelder? They are drinking their sorrows away. So if we go east, we can find some booze. I mean, I'm sure Mort can't argue with that. I'm running low on ale. <laughs> you mean you've got none? The tracks go east. Okay, pretty. Which way we're going? <laughs> the tracks go east. We should follow the tracks. I agree. That's exactly what I said in the last time. <laughs> you pointed everywhere, Yelder. And I start heading south. <laughs> I yeah, just yeah, Yelder, it. Yelder. <laughs> and he pulls on your ears. And I turn around and I start heading the other way. Right, we wanted to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys all heading east? Some of you still want to go south? Oh, we're I'm not heading east. Up. <laughs> I'm not splitting up. I'm following the tracks. You're, You're following the tracks? You can go off somewhere if he wants, but... <laughs> but... 
<laughs> no. Explain no, yourself, Tiani, if, if you're opposed to going east. Nobody's listening to me. We're all gonna die. Ah, fine. That can be cover. Bet listen, you. listen to pretty. Don't listen to me. That's okay. <laughs> you know what, though? They have dancing and fires. It's really nice. We should go there. And scary and they, dreams. I and, don't like those. And they played cards with us, and they were very friendly. Let's go find your friends, Yelder. Aww. Yay, friends! <laughs> Maybe they'll play more cards with us. All right, off we go. All right, so you continue. Uh, you turn to the eastern path, and you start walking, and walking, and walking, and eventually, you notice. Uh, let me check your passive here. Uh, wow. Gerblin notices um, an odd smell. Hey, hey, guys, 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 guys. I, I, I'm I, smelling something really, really odd here. Um, um, it, it, I, I'm not I'm not sure. It, it kind of reminds me of that dead body we found earlier yet the other day. Oh, no. Mort? Do I smell anything? Mort, give me a perception. I have to give a perception. My wife just showed up to ask me how things are going. Normal? Normal. Normal. Normal? No. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um, I wouldn't say that's bad luck. I didn't roll a one. Yeah, you didn't roll a one. <laughs> uh, oh. With a plus three bonus. Yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> you, you, you don't smell what uh, Gerblin's smelling. No, I'm not. Are we sure? Gerblin, are we sure you're not just smelling Yelder? <laughs> oh, 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 no, that's different. That's that that's definitely different. Oh, that whoa. Oh. Yelder, Yelder, didn't 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 you go into the water yesterday? Why 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 do you smell so bad? I didn't get my head wet. Oh. <laughs> My hat's going to smell for weeks. <laughs> I do a perception check and see if uh, I notice anything. Sure. Of course, I say that and I don't remember what perception is. Oh, there we go. Um, as you start sniffing, you take a few steps ahead of the party and you do notice a distinct... Funk of death. Can I use the fine sense? Uh, go for it. So I don't have to roll anything, right? No, it, it's just you. It's a skill that you use. Um, you don't see anything in the immediate uh, area. Um, you don't hear anything when, like, usually when you use your divine sense, if there's something good, you'd hear like godly music and if there's something evil uh you'd see that aura but you don't see anything in the immediate area okay. i tell more directly where the smell's coming from like if i want to track it down see its source it's coming straight ahead of you down the path like multiple instances like an army of undead coming towards us or a body that someone ditched somewhere you you can't tell okay Well, I mean, I guess we should go try and check out what the smell is so it doesn't surprise us. Are you telling them about the smell? Well, I'm going, yeah, Gerblin, I definitely smell it too. It's not just Yelder. I, I, I told you, I told you I'm not going crazy. Not this time. No, 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 no. It's straight ahead of us. Should we go see what it is so nothing surprises us? Or should we head towards the epic battle? I, I, I don't like any of the ideas. I, I, I just want to go back home. Oh, I don't Animals in the vicinity, Chris? Uh, give me a nature. Uh, 
11. 11. Uh, not in the immediate vicinity. You do still hear that lone wolf howling far in the distance, though. With, sorry, Chris, I don't, with the speak with, with animals, mm -hmm. how far away can they be? Uh, you have to be able to see them. Okay. So it's a visual thing. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, so, so what are we doing guys? What are we oh, doing? Oh. I, hey, um, hey, new guy, new guy. Uh, what, 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 what's, what's your name again? Is the hat talking to me? Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> big guy. I'm pretty. Arlek. Ar Arlek, Arlek. What, what do you think we should do? You got his name wrong. His name is Ar. Ar? No, it's Arlek. No, Ar. He kind of kicks you in the ear. Arlek. Well, I'm... I'm new, so I'm just trying to find where I am. So if I have to follow the tracks, I'll follow the tracks. If it leads to some ungodly smell, then so be it. Oof. I mean, are like at the very least, if we had followed the tracks and there is gypsies with card readings, maybe they can help us. Yes. Oh. Maybe help us figure out how we got here or how to get back. Mort, Mort, what do you think? I don't like going to stinky, smelly dead bodies, because usually something might have killed them. But instead, you want to go where we, we, we saw those tracks of all those animals? I want to go where the river is to yeah. find the drowned village. Remember, remember why we left? There's all those tracks of the like, right. that giant, giant, like, freaking wolf thing. Oh, man. All right, let's when, just go see what's going on with this. We'll follow when did the tips. have become the voice of reason. Oh, when as as he's also somebody, the, the smartest person in the, the party. Of what's going on? Got a hold he, of that. He was the last time too. Yep. If you remember, <laughs> he's also a, he's the one who told you guys to rest so you could get your spells back. And hundred percent, he's playing <laughs> them to a T. Yep. All right, let's go find the smell. All right, so well, you guys, how are you going to proceed? How are you going to proceed? Do we have a reasonable battle formation? I'll go in front. So it's Our the first without speed. any weapons, right? Yeah. No, I do. I, I have a weapon now. I got something. You got what? what a get? sickle or I something? I got a sickle. Okay. Are I you should have my wits to back on the side, so I always have a line of sight. Well, I'm armed to the teeth, so I guess I can go first with a shield. I, okay. I I I can be anywhere as long as as, as long as I'm on on, on Yelder's head, I, I can cast some spells from up here. All right, so, so you'll have a better me, line of sight. Me and Yelder will follow, you know, kind of flanking left and right behind our like our yeah our and then and then the ladies behind. Well. As long as no one's obscuring my view, because I'm an archer. Right. Yelder, I, she, she's I talking about you there. This works. I walk beside pretty. There we go. All right, so you all head out, and walking very cautiously, when, as the path turns a little bit, you, noticed, uh, you notice the... Um, the gypsy's wagon broken on the side of the road on oh, fire. Oh, no. oh, great. This is when I would pull out my axe. I'm going to ready my bow. Yeah, I guess I'll hold my sickle. <laughs> Gerblin goes, oh, I, 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 I told you guys I don't like this. I, don't, I really don't like this. And he pulls the hat down even further, and it actually covers Yelder's eyes at this point. <laughs> Everything went black. I start feeling around. 
<laughs> Yelder, just push the hat up a little. Open your eyes, Yelder. Right. Right. Okay. Um, what are we... So the... the, the uh, it's off to the side, burning. Can we... Was there a lot of tracks around it? Uh, give me a nature check. Actually, give me an investigation. Hear that screaming noise? Nineteen, sir. Nineteen. Wow. That was a natural twenty minus one. You yep. see all sorts of tracks. Uh, you see a lot of what looks like canine wolfen type tracks, uh, and you see some that are bigger than even your foot. Is it the same uh, same track that I saw down near the river? Give me a wisdom. Sixteen. Wow. Uh, yeah. You're pretty sure it is. Elder's on fire today. I know. Guys, 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 guys. Oh, and ladies. Um, I've seen this before. Is it another epic battle, Yelder? It, it really is. Look at this. There is one really big one. And he's guiding all these little ones. And they are crushing the people... Oh, the poor gypsies. I remember this one time where we were actually at a campfire. Yelder, 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 Yelder. That was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> do you see any dead bodies? Uh, you do see two bodies. Oh, no. Do okay. we, can we recognize who, they, who it Yelder? was? Let's, let's have a look. Give me a medicine check. Okay. Whoever wants to be investigating. Oh. Um, the first body I'll that. Oh, okay. oh, come on. The first body that you look at, Tiani, uh, seems so charred that you can tell it was one of the male uh, gypsies, but you can't tell which one. <clears throat> okay. Mort, Mort was looking at the other one. As, as you look at the other one, you can tell. Uh, that it's also male. Um, you kind of deduce that it wasn't Vladimir based off of the size. So you're assuming that it was Mihai and uh, Florin. Right. I mean, that makes sense. Can I see inside of the, uh, the cart, the wagon? The, the, most of the wagon is smashed. Um, give me a, hmm, give me an investigation. Ten. So as you, you approach, uh, the wagon, you take a look and you do see some black fur stuck on some of the, the, the slats of wood. Um, there's a couple of coffers that seem smashed, uh, but still, structurally sound enough to have maybe protect whatever was inside it. Can I look inside of it? Sure. So you look into one of the coffers and yeah. you see a lot of shiny coins. <gasps> Shinies. Yeah. Nice. I like shinies. Uh, so I grab a handful. You grab a handful? Yeah. Alright. You... Give me a second here. <coughs> Do I see him doing this? Uh, you can't more than likely. <laughs> no, right, I'm really well. excited. I am super excited. Builder's telling us all about the shiny coins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go love... grab some coins. Yeah, I'm going to grab yeah. some coins as all well. All right, Yelder, you grab uh, nine copper pieces. Okay. Twelve gold pieces. Chris? What? I don't know. Did, oh, sorry. 12, did you get that? 12, 12 gold pieces, yeah. and yeah. 17 platinum pieces. Damn. What's, what's platinum? Better than gold. 
better than a gold. And you did that thing again, Chris, where we can see your rolls. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean... I and I toss, grab, the, I toss the... I want to grab coins, too. <laughs> yeah? And I want to look at the next one. <laughs> Alright, who else is grabbing coins first? I grabbing am. coins. We're okay. all grabbing Mort. coins. We're all yeah, grabbing, grabbing coins. coins. Mort, you grab... Uh, three uh, copper, sixteen gold, oh boy, and twelve silver. Okay, not platinum. Nope, silver. What's platinum again? Is it better than gold? Yeah. It's the one after gold. You're a dwarf. You should know this stuff. Yeah, I sure. should. I know. That's hmm. <laughs> uh, Krill. You get six gold, seven platinum, and eighteen silver. How about me? Tiani? There's 18, 18 silver, right? Yeah. Tiani, you get three, uh, three copper. Okay. <clears throat> two diamonds. Two diamonds. Ooh. And one ruby. Oh. Okay, save the best for last. They were buried under the coins. Uh, Arlek, you end up getting eight... Uh, one second here. Uh, where's my... Eight flawless diamonds. So uh, where I put that... In your inventory. Where the hell's the inventory? But it's his equipment. You said the plus at the bottom and added it? Mm -hmm. I don't see it. Equipment, okay. So I say how many? Uh, you get eight flawless diamonds. Okay. Okay, Yelder, you said something else? I said, oh, well, I wanted to look at the next coffer. Okay. Uh, while you're about to look at it, you uh, you get kicked in the back of the head by Gerblin. Hey, you big oaf! Let me down! Let me down! I I, I want some t stuff too. I pick him up and I gently put him down, and he finds two diamonds. Nice. Now I pat the hat and go. Good job. They are shiny. All right. So as you continue trying to look through the wagon, you're pulling pieces of the broken charred wagon off, and you find what looks like more of a closet than anything. Okay. Can I open it? You try to open it and it's locked. Try harder, Yelder. Give her. Can I, I try just... to pick the lock? Do you have any lockpicks? I do no. not have anything, but I'm just going to... Can I give it a good yank? Give me a strength check. He's dead. Sorry, I'll let him finish. 16. So, you try to open it, and it's, it's locked. So you start getting a little bit frustrated and shake it and shake it and shake it. And eventually, the whole door comes right off. A oh. new shield. <laughs> <laughs> I know, let's show it Clearly a box shield. <laughs> no, he, uh, in a past adventure before traveling to this strange land, and before being marooned and then getting a job at the, the docks, uh, he had taken the a door off door. of a church <laughs> and was using it as a shield. 
<laughs> That's amazing. So yes, you get another door shield. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Um, inside it, however, I you see with a shield. I want to open it and close it. <laughs> <laughs> you see Kaboo, knock, knock. a lot of equipment. You see swords. Oh, you nice. see uh, clothing. You see an axe. Now, now, in any of this, does any of this interest me? I've got my quarter staff. Uh, I'm not and shiny things and shiny things. Um, not you know particularly. Start, I'm going to start rummaging through the the equipment and and kind of toss it behind me. Chris. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as you kneel down and start throwing stuff over your shoulder, um, yeah, pretty much. The rest of the the group is standing there, kind of just looking at him in shock. Um, he throws a suit of leather armor. He throws a couple of rapiers. Um. He throws a bow and musical instruments. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I stop. I go back to the musical instrument. <laughs> Is it oh. like a loop? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a... Uh... And flute. <laughs> if I could spell instrument. Uh... Really? Come on, speed up. <clears throat> really? You're not going to show me any of the instruments? It's a harp. Perfect. Yeah, I don't care. I go back to, and, and st continue to rummage. Uh, you throw out an, throw another uh, suit of studded armor um, and a couple of pouches. Oh, Ooh. hold on. I want to open the pouch before I throw it. Okay, you open the, the first pouch and there's nothing in it. Yeah. Throw the pouch. <laughs> you grab the next pouch. There's nothing in it. Throw the pouch. Actually, wait. Hmm. Yeah. Waiting? W would that fit my coins? My shinies? Uh, more than likely, yes. I will go pick one back up again. Okay, there's two, right? One is uh, basically like a crushed velvet, and the other one is pretty much like a potato sack. I will go with the crushed velvet. Okay. It's, it probably appeals to me. Fancy and perfect for your pretty shiny coins. Yeah. It, it's green. It kind of matches with your bluish aqua colored skin. Yeah. Oh, wow. so, okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Chris. Yes. And I can just add this. Chris. Uh, yep. Okay. I, I, I want to grab the armor and the rapier and the crossbow. There's no the crossbow. Bow. So, uh, which armor? The the leather or the studded leather? The studded leather. Okay, so I'll add that to your character sheet. I grab the other pouch. Yeah, sure. I don't suppose that leather armor is dwarf-sized. No, it's uh, human-sized. Pretty's going to grow potatoes. And was there an axe? It's no, there to wasn't. carry all my game that I kill. Or a hammer. Nope, there's two rapiers and two sets of armor. Was there a pistol? Nope. Nope. And and as I was digging through this, Chris, we didn't notice like the old lady at all or anything? Nope. Or anybody who we thought might be Vladimir? Nope. Do we see any tracks leading off into the forest or away from this? Okay, give like me a minute. Non oh. Give me a minute. Okay, sorry. Do we see a deck of cards? No. Hey, there's Gerblin. There's Gerblin. Gerblin's back. He is. Hey, Gerblin, do, do me a favor. What? Uh, in your character sheet. Yes. Under equipment, 
add two flawless diamonds. Fuck yeah. And you took the bow as well, Tiani? Mm-hmm. I guess you just hit the plus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why didn't the ball? All right. For some reason, your short bow is not showing up, but. Yeah, I can see the armor. I can see the rapier. This thing's annoying. All right. I'll uh, figure that out and. You don't have any arrows, so it doesn't make a difference yet. Um, yep. All right. Yelder, you were asking? Uh, well, you know what? Let the other guys do whatever. I just wanted to know if there was any tracks leading away that were non-canine. Give me a nature check. Right. So are you done rummaging through that room? Yeah, I've got distracted now. Okay. I, I want to go see if there's anything else in there that might interest me. All right. Uh, um, you said in nature? Nature, yeah. Five. Uh, no, the only tracks that you see are uh, the, cane, the, the, the wolfen type tracks, that set of large tracks. And, well, you actually get distracted by uh, your party's own footprints. All right, uh, Tiani, as you go rummaging through it, you find uh, some papers that are cindering, um, but no other equipment or anything of value. Okay. And can I make anything that's written on the papers? Or no, they're too burnt. Uh, they're half burnt, but the script on it, you don't recognize that language. All right, I'm going to head back out. All right. Um, Gerblin, just so you know what happened, uh, everybody decided to head back towards the water. Um, and then... <laughs> changed their minds halfway through. Then changed their minds and started following the wagon tracks of the gypsies that uh, you guys uh, were kindly invited to camp with, right. only to find yeah. the wagon destroyed and burnt and... Two male bodies, uh, no. badly burnt, yeah. and you're you're this. you're a little bit freaking out from it. You didn't want to go down to the water because of the tracks that you remember seeing there, and you didn't want to go towards here because you smelled death. Oh boy! All right. Yeah, and there was this there was this crossroads back there. I'm going to call Albuquerque, and I wanted to go to the river, but nobody listens to me. They all listen to pretty. Uh, yeah, I get used she's to it. Smarter. <laughs> <laughs> but look at all the shinies we got. Yeah. Good job, pretty. And I pat <laughs> pretty on the head. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do now? Can I well, tell where the uh, canine tracks came from and went to after this attack? Give me a investigation. Thirteen. So you notice that the tracks uh, came from the woods. Um, you can't actually tell because uh, they're, they're they're scattered all over the place. You could tell that the animals in question were somewhat uh, okay. Uh, were somewhat. Sorry, I clicked on something by mistake. Were somewhat in a hurry, um, but you can't tell which. Ones are from coming or going. Okay. But we can't tell, like, how many tracks there are, like, different... Somebody in the group must be a tracker. Um, well, <laughs> you guys did take a look before you got here, Jamie. Um, and Yelder was able to distinguish that there were several uh, wolf-style <laughs> tracks... And one set that looked woven, but were bigger than his own feet. 
Oh man, okay. Oh wow. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, you mentioned that I saw some uh, black fur on the The, the wood wagon, of the, yeah. yeah. Can I examine that a little further? Sure. Uh, give me a nature check or investigation, whichever you find is better. Uh, let's see. Nature. Wow. Nature it is. <laughs> investigation means intelligence. Intelligence denotes smarts. Something the elder is not. 18, sir. All right, so you look at the fur, and you can tell that it's pretty scraggly, um, that it's definitely not a dog or any, any type of um, animal that would be uh, around people quite a bit. Um, you're, you're pretty sure it's a wolf of some sort. Okay. I what I was trying to denote is whether or not it was longer than the normal wolf's hair, or if it was. It, it's about the size of regular wolf hair. Okay. All right. Who right. set the caravan on fire? No, that doesn't I make sense. Know. Werewolf. <clears throat> or. Maybe something was riding on the wolf's back. Like another werewolf? Like there was a werewolf riding the wolf. Yeah, that would work. There you go, see? As How about long a werewolf? as the werewolf was carrying a torch. Probably. Werewolves don't like fire. No, it burns their head. It gets really messy. Right, yeah. would know. <laughs> he would know. <laughs> True. When's the next full moon, Radu? We can't tell you anymore. Know. We we don't go to work anymore. All right, what are we doing? Are we <laughs> following the road? Are we going back? We were following the gypsies. Is there any way we can tell which direction these wolves took? What maybe is probably the two surviving gypsies? Okay, didn't you pay attention to what uh, Krill oh, was took, doing? I took my oh, sorry. I took my headset off for a second when my wife came to tell her who we all were. I'm so I missed it. it. Don't don't make don't play it back. If I missed it, I missed it. I'm she sorry. was the one that laughed right after. What? I thought I thought I heard a laugh after. Anyways, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah I she couldn't tell which way they came or went. Just that there were wolves in the area. Shitty. Maybe Yelder can tell us. He's good at it. So was this battle epic, Yelder? Chris, I actually want to look at the edge of the, the trails to see if there's any broken twigs or anything that I can figure out if if they went inwards or came out of that direction. Sure thing. Give me a nature check. Eight. No. Uh, the It's been raining nonstop for as long as you guys have been there. Um, yeah. All the tracks are pretty muddy to this time. And as you guys are actually trying to investigate, um, some of you are actually stepping over these tracks. Guys, guys, don't take another step. I have figured it out. They okay. took they took the other... Look, like, look at all these footprints, but some of them are yours. But these other ones, well, those ones are mine. But they <laughs> went that way. How do you know? <laughs> I just explained it. So, look, at it. it's been raining, it's muddy, you guys have been walking all over the evidence, you cannot tell the difference, but I can. I am a great tracker, and they went that way. Okay. Do we follow them? Yeah. Yeah, we should follow them. At the very least, to save the surviving gypsies. Say, All right, oh, Yelder, lead the is way. Pretty smart. Yeah. Yes. Yel Yelder just said that he was a great tracker in really confident tones, so now I'm just following him. I mean, Ooh. he did roll natural 20 earlier. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's really getting messy here, guys, because we keep walking on things, and somebody's been throwing things around here. Look at this. This is just an absolute mess. I remember this one time I was on a ship, 
and there was so many things. I just started. I I could not take it anymore, and I I needed some space, so I started throwing things overboard. Well, there, how's your new uh, shield? What you? Your door. I go and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Is it is it day or night? Do you know, uh, it has to be one of those. Unless <laughs> it's between. It, it's probably really late afternoon at this point. Okay. But it's really hard to tell because it's always completely overcast. It's like Seattle. Yeah. So where are you guys heading? Following Yelder's lead to the way they was went. He's yeah, confident. So we're, so we're going to head in the direction that the gypsies were going. Okay. So you guys <coughs> continue down the, uh, the forested path. There's no more tracks. Are you continuing? Can we see anything? You see there's no more tracks. Or anything? The tracks no, the no, tracks like must've... mountains. No. You see trees and fog and mud. But no more tracks. No, the tracks ended where the caravan stopped. Yep. And and so they all just flew away. They, You guys couldn't tell where they came from. They might have yeah. come from inside the forest. You never, you never know, Dave. I mean, let's be honest. Yelder, <coughs> Yelder is, is being awesome here, but... Uh... <laughs> Anyways, uh, guys, it is like magic. At one point, they were here, and now, nothing. I was at a carnival one time, and I saw them do a disappearing act, and it could be something like that. Okay, Elder. Like when the carnival disappeared. And left no, behind. The, car the carnival did not disappear, Mort. Don't be silly. The <laughs> person in the carnival, it disappeared. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. I was confused. <laughs> Doesn't take much with your intelligence. Exactly. Hey right, guys, what do you want to do? I'm trying to embrace. We the should dumb. just continue down this path, right? All right. So you continue walking, and a couple of hours go by. <clears throat> it's getting darker. Oh, man. All right, let's stop and make a fire. And you hear that lone wolf again in the far distance. God damn that wolf. I have All my right. sickle. Let's make a fire. Let's make a fire. Well, let's, uh, let's keep our eye out for the next, you know, half an hour as we're walking for a good spot to stop. And, you know, so, so you guys are continuing. Well, and dry sort of, half and half. Like slowing down and looking for a good camping spot with some dry wood, like she says. And maybe a little off the path and a little maybe shelter from the prevailing winds and all the good things about a campsite. All right, so you guys continue at a slower pace. Yeah. And Mort, give me a perception check. Oh, I have one of those. Just a normal one. Yep. You uh, you hear something. Oh shit! I hear a good thing. <laughs> Are you telling the rest of the group, or are you just stopping there? Oh, hells yeah. No, no. Hey, guys, shh, listen. What's that? All right. Do, ev what? Everybody give me a perception check. <laughs> 21, Chris. Holy shit. <laughs> 15. All right. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Ar Arlek does not hear a thing. He's probably just too busy shaking his head at the group that 
he's stuck with right now. Um, the rest of you all hear what sounds like a banging. Like, fuck, 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 fuck. Can we tell where it's coming from? East, uh, west, north? Yelder, you've got an idea that it's it's coming down the road from where you're heading. Um, you also hear very faintly, only you, Yelder, um, people talking. Guys, we've got to continue. There is a party going on up ahead. <laughs> party. Yes, lots what? of people. They're having fun. Uh, I remember this time that we were having fun. All right, let's go have fun. <laughs> Do they have fun. ale? I don't know. I cannot smell that far. You can. I don't hear anything. What are you talking about? I look at uh, and I point out my ears to him and go, <laughs> look, little guy. Look at how big these things are. They, they can hear miles away. Um. Gerblin lifts his hat up and his ears are almost as big as yours. <laughs> Whoa. You know what? If you didn't wear that hat, I bet you you could hear the party too. Oh no, I need my hat. I can't. <laughs> I don't go anywhere without it. Uh, I remember this time where we were having fun though. And it was, uh, it, we, we were around a bonfire. I was dancing. It was lots of fun. Yelder, Yelder. Yeah. Let's go dance. Let's go dance. Let's go to the party. Okay. All right. So you guys are heading towards the sounds? Yep. yep. Time, time to party. So as you continue walking, you notice uh, the path opens up into a, a pretty big clearing. And you see several carriages, tons of horses, and a lot of people, a couple of dozen people setting up tents. Very big tents. The carnival. Tent <laughs> party. Are there people going inside those tents? They're they're actually setting them up. Okay. So it's not like these people are in tents. They they've got no intent. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are lame. I love it. <laughs> You're lame. Yeah, I knew that already. Oh. I'm not lame. I'm a dwarf. That limp just comes natural. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys do? Well, I'm heading off to the carnival. I want to find some carnival beer. Carnival beer. Ale. Carnival beer. All right. <laughs> That's less appetizing when you say it that way. <laughs> yeah. Mm, carnival ale. Sounds less appetizing to you because you're not a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> so Mort takes the lead True. and uh, starts going down the path towards the clearing. What's the rest of you do? Uh, do they look friendly or anything? Back a little or? bit. G give me a perception. Actually, give me an insight. Uh, me? Yeah. You're the one that asked. Well... They seem very uh, intent on <laughs> what they're doing. Uh, you said they weren't intense. Mm. <laughs> Do I notice any like uh, weapons on their horses or anywhere, like shields or whatever? Uh, that you'd have to give me a investigation. Thirteen. <laughs> um, not that you can see. Uh, you see the wag a lot of wagons, a lot of uh, heavier horses that are meant more to, to drag these uh, these caravans and not war horses. Uh, most of the people there are pretty big from at least from the distance that you're at right now, uh, shirtless with big hammers hammering in spikes for these gigantic tents. So, like, they're like my size? Uh, pretty much around your size, yes. Do they look like the gypsies we met before? Uh, you're still too far to really make out much detail about them. We should get closer. Okay. Hmm.
I'll let the dwarf make a fool of himself, so let him go first. Oh yeah, I've, I've been plodding along. I'm heading towards what I think looks like the ale tent. Or well, the no, tent. there's there's actually no tents up yet. Yeah, but you can kind of tell, right? No, they all look the same. Damn it. You're still under the assumption that it's a carnival. Or, that's you know... Why, that's why Mort and I are going. Something like a carnival. Somebody said carnival. I saw a bunch of tents with nobody in them. So it's kind of a mellow carnival. We're going down. Mort and I are heading on down. Trompity tromp. How far away did you say? 100 feet? Yeah, we're there by now. I didn't say how far, but yes, you should be there by now. Perfect. Yo! So as you yell out, one of the, uh, the workers stops turns, looks at you, and goes back to hammering these spikes. Perfect. These guys don't give a shit. We should be looking around for something looking like a bearded lady. They always know which tent is the ale tent. You mean a female dwarf? <laughs> I'm not going to dignify that with a response. <laughs> that sounds an awful lot like a male dwarf. Is, is or a female like dwarf. A, uh, a main cart like you know like uh you do notice that a lot of the carts look like they're made just to carry um the equipment in the tents there's one uh that sticks out uh it's more of a stained wood it looks more like uh <coughs> a, a cart that would have people staying in it okay so i'll take i'll grab yelder's ears turn his head towards that cart and then I'll be like, hey, look, let's go over there. Do you think that's where the gypsies are? Possibly. We, we should go, go check it out. Yeah. 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 Let's go check it out. All right. So you guys head out towards that uh, cart. And as you get close, you see uh, the door open on that cart. And a tall, slender elf comes out of it. Ooh. And he looks at you. And starts walking towards you slowly, but confidently. You notice that his left hand is on the pummel of a sword. Slowly, but confidently. Just Were any of these other people putting up these tents? Were they elves? Uh, most of them looked human to you. Or None of us are elves. So he walks up and stops maybe about four or five feet in front of you. And he starts talking. But you don't understand the language. All right. So in my most guttural comment, it's like, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Hold on. I don't, I don't understand you. Uh, Chris? Yeah. Do I actually understand him? No, you don't. What about me? Nope. Hmm. Damn. None of us? None of you. I do. No, you don't. Yeah, you think he's speaking Elvish. That's the reason why I asked if it was me or not, or if I knew. So, what did you say, Dwarf? I said, well there, buddy, I don't understand you. But I did, you know, like, in my most guttural common. So, he stops, looks down at you, and goes, yeah. Ugh, Commoners! What brings you here now? We're not ready. We're not opening for another few days. We didn't expect to find you here. We're we're here and you're here. Nothing brought us to you. But I had a dream that I was going to see a carnival. <laughs> and look at this. All right, something brought him here to see you. <laughs> he looks up at Yelder. I'm just smiling at him. I'm yeah. like, I'm Ear ecstatic. to ear. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever considered working in the carnival? Oh, you know what? It has been a lifelong dream of mine. I did I did work at the docks one day, and uh, that was fun. They gave me heavy things to carry back and forth. Uh, and some of them were even my friends. Most of them didn't talk to me. But... Uh, 
Would you talk to me? What is your name? The Elder. I am Tiomir. Tiomir. Timmy. <laughs> he closes his eyes in disgust and shakes his head. Tim, Tim, Timmy? Commoners. <laughs> well, there's nothing here for you yet. But. Oh, but. I will pay you if you. And he snaps his fingers, and this half orc comes by with a stack of papers. If you distribute these at the village nearby. There's oh, a village uh, nearby. Yeah, where? North from here. Came from north. We did not pass a village. We came from that trail there. That I is not that time. is not from the north. Hmm. That comes from the east. You gonna turn it around, Yelder. We got turned around. And I turn around again. <laughs> and he turns to the half orc and says something in the language that you don't understand. The half orc grabs his stomach and laughs. And I laugh too. Because it's funny. <laughs> laugh, laughing is contagious. It's a good sign. Now, will you do this for me, friend? Friend. He called me friend. Yes, friend. Timmy, friend. I will do this. Because new people are friendly people. I heard yes, that. they are. <laughs> so, so the half-orc steps up and hands Yelder a stack about three feet tall of papers. What's on the papers? Can I read it? Uh, uh, you see a picture Pictures. of a tent. Yeah. And wording in a language you don't understand. I uh, I look at Timmy, my new friend. <laughs> uh, uh, Timmy, I uh, I don't read so well. Um, what does it say? It's got a nice tent. It looks like that one. Do not worry your head, my friend. Okay. Again, he called me friend. <laughs> we should do this for him, guys. Because he's our new friend. Because new right. people are good people. Yeah, That's right. 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 Yeah. Not like those people over there. Those dead people. The dead people. They were good people. Right. They were new. They were new yesterday. Yeah, but they're now they're old. <laughs> and I mean, what so have they done for us lately? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Tamir, have you uh, heard any strange noises in the area or seen any other people around? Did you call him Timmy, too? <laughs> <laughs> Tamir? <laughs> noises? This is Barovia. There is always noises. Strange happenings. With the Devil's Trot, there is always strange behaviors. Any other people with coming the, through the area? With the what? The Devil's Strad! I don't know what that means. Where are you from, my friend? Well, that's, that's a tough one. Far from here. He looks at the half-orc. The half-orc takes two steps back. Okay, my friends, you do this. You come back, I pay you. And he turns around and walks back into his trailer. Shit. Hmm, okay. I guess we go to the village. To the north. So, Chris, have you ever heard, heard of Barovia before? No, you have not. Okay. Have any of us heard of it? No. Nope. nope. Well, uh, the original group heard of it when they found the first dead body. Um, oh, okay. But that was the first they've ever heard of it. All right, I guess we're going to post flyers in this town. 
And then get paid. Yeah, get paid. Yeah. I, uh, the friend, he told us to take this to them. And then come back. <clears throat> Simple. I remember this other time that I had to do a task, and it was pretty simple, too. Yeah, Technically, there. they Let's didn't go. say we had to distribute the flyers. They just said we had to bring it to. We could drop them in the middle <laughs> of the town. You're right. Exactly, and the wind would scatter them for us. It would be perfect. All right, Yelder. Let's go. I gave each of them a paper to carry. <laughs> One. <laughs> and you're carrying the rest of them? Yep. <laughs> and none of us can read what's on it? Nope. All right, Does it look go. friendly? Like friendly text or like, you know, bring your sacrifice text? You can't <laughs> really tell. Is there something says there? a lot. <laughs> what were you saying, uh, Gerblin? Oh, is, is there something on the other side? Nope. Okay. Greener grass. Oh. Right. <laughs> All right, Tweety. Lead the way. All right, let's go north, I guess. We're going to find a village and hand out flyers. <laughs> I, uh, We're going to find death. <laughs> They'll find flyers. I, I go back on... Uh, I go back to the, to, the, to the wagon area. I knock on the door. Uh, Timmy. 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 Tim. Timmy. I knock again. <laughs> You get no response. Which way is the town again? Yelder, we have to go north. If the group just starts going where we have to go, Yelder will eventually follow us. Well, Gerber is right. probably Yelder. on his head. All right. I'll follow. Come on, Gerber. But I keep looking him. back towards the, uh, the wagon. <laughs> It's getting darker. Uh, you find that you find a small entrance into the forest northwards. Um, <clears throat> as you start, because you notice it's the only entrance. Um, both Arlek and Yelder, you find it a little bit of a tight squeeze to get through. Um, there's a lot of spiny brush and trees and vines. But after pushing through, uh, you're now on a path that actually has um, stone, like stonework leading the way. I think this would be a good place to camp. Like, is it dark, dark, Chris? No, not yet. Oh, okay. So we have some daylight left? Yeah, by, by your guess, you probably still have a couple hours. Oh, okay. We trudge on. Do I notice anything on this road? Like, is it is it eerily quiet? It like, is. Is there no is animals? Here? It it is very eerily quiet. But so far, most of the areas you've been since you've appeared here have been eerily quiet. Okay. So what are you guys doing? Following the road. All right. So you continue following. Have, have we had lunch yet? Nope. You haven't had food since breakfast. I mean, we we slept in and we had, had the big breakfast and had the big breakfast. Yeah. yeah. But but I mean, we should stop and have some food soon. But we're going to a town. I think they have a pub. Probably. Oh, probably. We and food, get food. To go to an inn. And food that's not rations. Doesn't matter. We get to go to an inn. <laughs> it's going to start it. soon. Our adventure is going to begin. <laughs> Off we go. All right. So you continue walking. And you notice that the stonework on the, the ground is getting not in better condition as you, you keep heading towards this uh, direction. Um, <clears throat> eventually, you start seeing that there's little fences on the sides of the road as well. 
uh, wooden pieces of wood with cut up tree trunks on top of them. And you keep going and you hear a howl. Oh no. Werewolf. It, <laughs> it's it, sounds, day. it sounds a lot like the wolf you've been hearing, but as Mort would say, more guttural. Mm. And closer. Oh, come Closer's on. Closer's not good. Maybe it's just as far away, he's just louder. I like your optimism. Maybe it's somebody's pet. I, I like how the dwarf that is scared of opening doors is being optimistic. <laughs> well, the thing is, if we suddenly see a werewolf, we could just get Yelder to close his door. Now you figured out why I gave him a door shield. Perfect. <laughs> we can all hide behind it and be inside, and the werewolf is outside. So, are you stopping? Are you continuing? Let's see where we go. Keep going. All right. So you keep walking, and almost an hour goes by. And you come to a crossroad. Okay. And there's a sign at the corner. Can we read what it says? You get the... It, it's written in what seems like common, but the words don't really mean much to you. Uh, one Direction, it says Valaki. Okay. And in one of the other directions, it says Ravenloft. Ravenloft. I think we should go to Ravenloft. Ravenloft sounds a little bit thematic. Ravenloft. Dipsy say anything about either of those places? We should be looking for a drowned village. No, we shouldn't. That's where we're going to die. We're looking for the Abbey. I... I don't... How do we know that the Abbey isn't in the drowned village? It's next to a mountain. Remember, pretty? She wasn't there. We told you this. (laughs) Village. The drowned village has a bad guy. Right. <laughs> we wanted to find Abby on the mountain to kill Gerblin. To kill Gerblin. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, Chris, which one of the science points north? Uh, that would be the one that says Valaki. Well, the guy okay. said the town was north, so we should go north. Let's go. Right? Right. Right, Yelder? Your reasoning is sound. Watch him turn right. right. We are coming from the east, and we are going to go north. That sounds right. All right. Who wants to lead the way? Let's I let Arv lead the way for a minute. He hasn't led yet. <laughs> Whatever. Do we have a good People sense that weird. As, as we head north, we're getting closer to that howling wolf? Um, give me an insight. I would like to give you an insight. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him roll a one. Stop that. <laughs> A normal roll. Whoa, <laughs> I mean, it's not a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. That's with a bonus. <laughs> you think it's far, far, far away. That out. <laughs> All right, back. I thought Yelda was the slow one. <laughs> yeah, you think it's far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, you don't forget this when you haven't eaten or had some ale, huh? You're, you're safe, Mort. You don't have to close the door. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, so you continue down the road, and it winds uh, <clears throat> out into another valley. Watched over by a dark, brooding mountain to the north. There's the mountain! The woods recede, revealing a sullen mountain berg surrounded by a wooden palisade. Thick fog passes up against the walls, as though looking for a way inside, hoping to catch the town of slumber. The road ends at a set of sturdy iron gates, with a pair of shadowy figures standing behind them. Planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gates are half dozen spikes with wolves' heads impaled on them. Oh, fuck this noise. Sounds like the right place. Maybe it's drowned because it's in the fog. The fog is surrounding it and drowning it. We talk to people at the gate to let us in. That is deep. <laughs> Maybe they're drowning in the blood of their enemies. Yeah, the dead what, wolves. What What did R say? I did not hear what R said. Can we talk to the, the guards to let us in? Uh, yeah, you can talk to the guards. Let's go let's, talk to the guards. Let's hand them a flyer. Okay, so you guys approach the gate. And you notice that the two guards are carrying pikes and they're very long pikes, long enough to uh, stab creatures <coughs> through the bars of the gates. They kind of look at you reluctantly as you come closer and point the, the pikes towards you and go, who goes there? We're, we're just we're weary travelers. We're trying to find some lodging for the night. We're not weary travelers. We're G give we're me a persuasion to promote Jack. the carnival. We, we have, you know what though? We have flyers. Arlex, give me a persuasion. Mort, Mort, you were in the back, but not perception. Sorry. Persuasion. Ten. Oof. Yeah, we 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 don't just let strangers come into the town. Go back your way. We are not strangers. We are nice new friends. Give me and a. We are here to do a job, and and I always do the job that I am being paid for. What what's what's that job? I uh, I hand him a flyer. Give me a persuasion I've been check. Asked. <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. You hand him one of the flyers, and he steps back, and he reads it. And he whispers something to the other guard. And goes, uh, 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 Other than passing these, bo uh, passing these on, what business do you have here? I know. Well, you just pass these on, and then we're supposed to go back and get paid. But I don't even know what they say. So one of them goes and unlocks the, the gate. All right, do do your business and be out of here. We we need here you we out go. of here before dark. Is there a place I can get something to drink? It's been a very long walk, and I've had to listen to this little nattering idiot behind me. He uh, he points to the water fountain, the center of the town. Thank you. There you go, Mort. You can now get all the ale you want from that water. I'm just going to make the face that I make it yelder that I always make it yelder. So the face that you give to Mark? Okay. That's the one. In we go. I've got an armload of papers. Everyone has an armload of papers. We have no, we have one five. paper. We have yeah. more than one paper. No, no, you no, each have one paper, paper and each. yelder has all the rest. Yes. I oh. gave you each one piece of paper. But you got a three foot tall stack. Doesn't matter. That's what he gave us. All right. <laughs> Let's start handing them out. 
I to give whom? ten. I give ten to the guards. <laughs> and, and and don't forget to give those to the, anybody else who comes to town. They kind of look at you oddly, and one of them mumbles to the other one. People come to town. Where are these people from? Nobody comes here. We're not from town. We came to town. And did he I looks at you. Hear him mumble that. He, he, yeah, you did. He looks at you oh. like really suspicious now because you were eavesdropping on his conversation. But and he points the the pike at you. Go on, do your job. I'm going. All right, so you guys walk in past the gates, and you notice that it's eerily quiet. There is no party going on here. None. These people need to have some excitement. It's a good thing we are here. Are you going to dance with them, Yelder? There is no music. We can make music. There will be. Oh, goody. <laughs> all right so what's in the town chris so as you walk in uh you walk through the gates and there's a couple of buildings flanking you then it opens up into uh, the town center the town square there's a big water fountain in the middle with what looks like a statue on top of it with its head broken off there's buildings surrounding the entire square. Most of them, as you look at them, the windows are all darkened. Ooh, darkened. Purposely darkened, Chris? Like to to like things pushed up against them so light doesn't go in? So some of them Or just people so, in there are sleeping. Some of them have you can Kind of see through the, the foggy, odd glass, you know, how old glass was, that there is yep. some, some have stuff barricading them, um, and some just have no light. You'd expect that, at least at this time of, uh, of day, when it's starting to get dark, or even at any time in this world, um, that people have candlelight, and you don't see any flickering. I will go door to door, Chris, and I'll be slipping papers underneath the doors. All right. So you go and you slip uh, a couple of the pages per door. Yep, uh, 100%. As, it's as, not just one. As if you're trying to get this done quickly. Uh-huh. And we're going to stop here for tonight. Oh, it's near 10. Oh. Now, each one of you I'm gets alive. 200 experience points. Because we got past those guards. No, because you accepted the people. mission. Right. And yeah. So you just need like a quick recap? Yeah. We walked. Okay. The gypsies died. No, I knew that, but just like. That's bad. You made it to the town, right? Yep.